Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is two of pentacles, seven of cups, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Your person's energy is Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Meeting Energies. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, our focus, star, bottom of the deck, five of Wands, touch of turmoil, and also maybe something about competition. This is an interesting set of energies, guys, because there can be a leap of faith available. Uh, the point seems to be that this person was not available for a connection with you in the past. It's like they, they chose a different road. Time factor. Now they can be single and available. And for some of you, there can be the opportunity to evaluate a new beginning with this person. There can be doubts on your side when it comes to the fact that this person might still have options, but it seems that this connection can be a positive one. The only way to find out if the two of you can have a real chance to be together is to talk about the opportunity, the Ace of Swords. Um, this one seems to be an interesting person, an interesting character. Spark. You can like each other. Sacred pool, which can be a factor if we follow the star. One ring circus. This can be an individual that catches a lot of attention. They can be highly sought after. I just want to say, because it is coming to my mind right now, that this can be someone that in the past was not exactly able to choose properly a love partner. But maybe time can become an ally even for them. Now they have another chance, let's say, to evaluate a potential um, love companion. And so Let's see if they can uh, make the opportunity count. Solitude. Moment of solitude. Uh, energy about singlehood for me, guys. But there is a lamp post with the light on. So I would say chance to achieve clarity. And what if some of you can be wide open? Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Love, bottom of the deck. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So, guys, two of pentacles. Uh, when it comes to you and this person, 
the cycle is not over yet. It's like this person was always in the back of your mind, somehow, some way, even if um, they were not available. You can see potential in a connection with this person. The four of ones can be what some of you guys would love to achieve stability when it comes to the future. And that's why the leap of fate has to be justified in some sense by the real perspective that something reliable can be built. Page of Pentacles, due diligence, you will have to discover multiple things. Ask your questions. It's your right to do that. You should do that. And then you will have to connect all the dots. This person can be brilliant. They can be extremely smart. They can have a savoir faire, king of wands. They can be a go-getter. You will have to understand if their approach can be genuine in favor of a connection with you, especially if they, if they chose someone else before. These Eight of Cups. The King of Cups is an energy about emotional maturity. Also an energy about someone that can struggle a little bit when it comes to the necessity to express feelings and emotions. You will have to factor that in also when it comes to your evaluation. I would say, guys, that this situation is not going to unfold quickly because of the Seven of Pentacles. It's like some of you can even um, say, all right, let's see. Let's see what you got. Let's talk. I can be interested, open like the Queen of Pentacles, but I know my worth. And so I will not agree immediately, you know? Major conversation, guys, in order to decide what to do. Soulful decision, the two of ones. So let's find out more about uh, your person. I would go for the nine of pentacles because the three royal figures can um, play out somehow, some way when it comes to the character, behaviors, you know, um, modus operandi of this person. Hierophant. Six of Wands. Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords. This is the energy that we have to pay attention to, the Seven of Swords. Because it is possible that this person was married, Hierophant. The situation didn't go well for them. They left behind the battlefield because they couldn't find their Ten of Cups energy. So now they are going to look for it elsewhere. But the Seven of Swords can even be a pattern that belongs to them, not necessarily uh, to the potential old partner, you know? The Seven of Swords can also be an energy that um, should encourage us to evaluate the potential trust factor. And you should think about that. If in the past this person had the chance to be with you, but they chose differently, and if you have been let down or disappointed by that decision, you will have to evaluate if you can trust this person now. The star is not just about uh, a wish granted energy. It is also about transparency, honesty, truth and trust indeed. Let's see for you guys. Let's go for the Seven of Cups.
star energy our focus five of swords which makes the point perfectly because the man can be the better of the three of swords energy so it's possible that this person let you down it's also possible that they broke your heart in the past but quite some time has gone by now you will have to understand if there can be the real chance to build a partnership that can go the distance if you perceive for whatever reason that this person can only desire to seduce you this is not going to happen three of pentacles working together there is openness in the three of pentacles for me the willingness to listen fair to say because there is going to be a conversation between the two of you emperor the final decision is going to be yours guys you are the one that can take charge of the opportunity to be together meaning that you will have the chance to say yes or no to this person queen of pentacles recurrent energy this person can be aware that you can be single you can be available, you know, when it comes to a new connection. Maybe they can be aware of the fact that you were interested in them in the past. Um, I would say to you, as a, as a food for thought, let's say, to go slow. No need to rush the process. So, guys, out of curiosity, Eight of Cups, and then let's go for the Ace of Swords. So, the soulful decision is going to be yours. Let's see this Eight of Cups. Here we go. Page of Cups. Two of Wands. So... A choice was made. It's like this person was not mature enough back then to realize that they should have known better. Now they can say that. They can even say, when it comes to the two of us, I should have known better. Eight of Cups again, boy. They went away. It's like they went away when they were a little bit younger. Page of Cups. Now they can be, they can be more mature. They get two Kings and the Queen of Swords. What about the Ace, guys? Truth and Clarity. Let's be honest. Hermit. Wisdom. Solitude, guys. Moment of solitude in order to think. There is the star within the lantern of the hermit. This is an encouragement in particular for some of you. You will have to realize if you truly want this person, if they want you enough, you know, to work for the connection if something positive can be achieved together because you decide to join forces. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, teeny tiny bit of passion, but it cannot be a game, guys. This is super important. It cannot be a game. There can be the chance to reignite a spark, but it cannot be just for the fun to spend the night together. King of Wands, bottom of the smaller deck, recurrent energy. This person can say that they are available to explore a connection with you. It's possible that some of you 
still have this person in extremely high regards, there is the chance to explore a scenario that can even be positive. We are talking about a leap of faith. It cannot be a naive decision, guys. This is the bottom line of this set of energies. It cannot be a naive decision. We have to pay attention to every detail because this is the only way to realize if love can be shared and honored in a mature way, in a responsible way, so that we can be successful together on multiple levels of the everyday life when it comes to a romantic partnership that can be embraced. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.